Oh my god! Oh! Yo, I'm Matt Jones, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to my compound. If you don't know this place, this is my slope style training compound where I've got loads of big jumps, a huge drop off behind me. But the huge development is I've destroyed my pump track and I'm placing a massive airbag right there behind me on that huge pad. So, I've got a lot to do, a lot to work on. We've got momentum now, there's a lot of momentum. So when this airbag arrives, which should be in the next few days, it's almost gonna be ready to go, which is super exciting because if I can just offload the airbag, blow it up and ride it, that's gonna be, that's the goal. So, the rolling. Behind me, you can see a big scaffolding structure. Ignore all the boards right now, it needs a load of handrails and stuff. Then I'm gonna come down these steel scaffolding ladder beams, which are super solid. Obviously there'll be wood on top of them. And then into a nice wooden transition. It's so that sort of shape. And then here, this is what I've done today, which I'm actually extremely stoked with. I'm really stoked with building that, because I haven't had help today, and it's quite hard to build stuff like that with only one pair of hands. It's true, I've only got one pair of hands. But that's really good. So that's 2.7 meters wide, which is why it's split into two separate frameworks to span the whole width of that rolling. The reason the rolling is so wide is because I want at least minimum two kickers onto this airbag. So that's why it's so wide. And now I've got to build the second extension of that curve to go up and meet the scaffolding, which is that piece you can see resting up against it. So I'm pretty excited, that is very strong. I've put all the battens really close together. I want to be able to ride this not just on bikes, like everything, and it needs to be really strong. So that's going to be solid, I'm chuffed with this. Because I was here on my own and very bored, I filmed a lot of time lapses of building that, which I'll play now. But then we're going to go on to build the second part, the upper area of that curve. And then we're kind of on the home straight. I need to put a lot of diagonals into that scaffolding to strengthen it. Get the digger back and level this area so the kickers have somewhere to sit. And then the bag can come and it's ready to go. I'm sure I'll think of a lot of things like maybe build a fish pond or I don't know. What else could we do? A nice flower bed with some geraniums and daffodils. I'm a big fan of the flowers. Um, but it's getting there. It's getting there. Timber meets scaffolding. Steel meets mother nature. Look at it, it's huge. That's 24 foot high. I'm so excited about riding into this thing. <laughs> So Silverline Tools have come on board to help me build this setup because I need a lot of stuff and a lot of tools I haven't really used much like scaffold spanners, saws, jigsaws, I've got a generator, there's lots of cool stuff so all I can do it all right here, I don't have to travel to get electricity, to borrow tools, I'm doing it all right here. That's the beauty of being sponsored by a tool company, I'm really lucky.
just while the camera's out, can you appreciate Greg that does a lot and Sam and George? Are we? <laughs> Who's just started pretending to do a lot. Oh my God. There's dust behind the lens. Progress is going extremely well. So the whole framework behind me is now in situ. It's in, it's in place. And the thing that took longest was getting all the footings, which is what it actually stands on level because this ground isn't level. And I spent quite a lot of time over there making like a level platform to build those on. So it's important that they actually sit on level ground and now they do. So I've had help from Greg, Sam and George getting all those dug in. A bit overkill, a bit too wide, but we weren't sure how wide this was gonna be. So the whole framework's 2.7 meters wide, which is a shame and a bit stupid on my behalf because the ply which we've just been and got is 2.4 meters long. So we're gonna have to cut an extra foot to kind of go up the sides, annoying. But basically look, we've got five meters of flat. So I'm gonna put 18 mil ply there, 12 mil ply on these transitions because you can't bend 18 mil ply. So I'm gonna use that for the flat and then 12 mil does bend so that means there's going to be a six mil overlap but i've allowed for that that sticks out a few centimeters on that so we're going to go up put four by two across there then the 18 mil ply and that should exactly meet flush with that and as that comes out my mouth i'm kind of doubting myself because it sounds way too complicated but it's going really well we're cooking here we're going obviously down there oh the mini bike's out greg's riding around the little 16 inch which is gonna be ridden here soon. But look, I need to get the digger back in because all of that needs digging through level as well to be ready for the airbag takeoffs. I'm gonna build two takeoffs. So stuff's happening, I'm pretty excited. Doesn't that rolling look massive? When that's all plied, which I'm gonna do shortly, it's gonna look mental, it's gonna look insane. And the reason I'm using ply and not scaffold boards because the top of this rolling, I had a problem with ply always rotting, peeling, delaminating. So I sacked it off and I used scaffold boards. However, if I use scaffold boards on this rolling, I'm not gonna be able to do it on roller skates or a scooter or a modified bathtub or a shopping trolley. So it needs to be smooth plywood for the massive, for the huge random sessions on the airbag. So thanks guys. We're gonna ply it now. And if the GoPro battery lasts, this time-lapse is gonna look sick. job done for today but we've done so well that is looking pretty impressive for rolling and the main thing is it's really strong it's like thick plywood all the battens are really close together i'm going to go up somewhere there so you can turn right for the airbag or left for the compound jump that solves the ladder problem of always carrying my bike up a ladder relentlessly for four years box ticked job done but this is going to be amazing and we're stoked like the main focus today has been doing it slowly so it can be really smooth. You could just bang the sheets on, put a few screws in and this, it'll all be a bit rough and not line up properly. I'm really stoked. I'm stoked. I haven't built a proper like huge feature for a long time. I build ramps. I've kind of like maintained a lot of stuff. I've still got to build the quarter pipe down there. But for me, that's a proper operation which is now taking shape and I'm really stoked. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. See you in the next video. Hopefully we'll almost be done with it by then. Legend.